Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant display of military prowess, the Tibet military region of China recently conducted a rigorous three-day live-fire exercise on the Tibetan plateau. This exercise, conducted at an altitude exceeding 4,400 meters, involved the deployment of Z-10 attack helicopters, underscoring China's growing capabilities in high-altitude combat scenarios. The exercise featured the use of diverse live ammunition, including air-to-air -air missiles aimed at drones moving at 85 km per hour, showcasing the Z-10's versatility and combat readiness. The Z-10 attack helicopter, developed by the People's Republic of China, represents a critical component of the People's Liberation Army's PLA, modern warfare arsenal. Manufactured by Changha Aircraft Industries Corporation CAIC, in collaboration with the Harbin Aircraft Industry Group, the Z-10 project commenced in the 1990s. The primary objective was to provide the PLA with a state-of-the-art attack helicopter capable of engaging armored vehicles, delivering close air support, and offering limited anti-aircraft capabilities. The Z-10 is equipped with a formidable array of weapons. Its standard armament includes a 23mm cannon mounted under the nose, pods for unguided rockets, HJ-10 anti-tank guided missiles, and TY-90 air-to-air missiles. This comprehensive weapon system allows the Z-10 to be effective in various combat conditions. Furthermore, the helicopter is equipped with night vision systems, advanced avionics, and electronic countermeasure systems, enhancing its operational capabilities in adverse environments. A notable feature of the Z-10 is its fire control radar and optical sensors, which significantly improve weapon accuracy and targeting assistance. Additionally, the cockpit is armored to protect the crew from small arms fire, a feature that distinguishes it from many Western counterparts. The Z-10 is often compared to its Western counterparts, such as the American AH-64 Apache and the European Eurocopter Tiger. Although the Z-10 may be considered less sophisticated in terms of avionics technology and engine power, it boasts a higher service ceiling. For instance, the EC-665 Tiger, operated by the French army, struggles to reach a ceiling of 4,000 meters. In contrast, the Z-10 has demonstrated its capability by operating effectively at altitudes of 4,400 meters on the Tibetan Plateau. The recent live-fire exercise on the Tibetan Plateau is a testament to the Z-10's high-altitude operational capabilities. Conducted at over 4,400 meters, this exercise tested the helicopter's performance in extreme conditions, reflecting its robustness and reliability. The ability to launch air-to-air -air missiles at a fast-moving drone highlights the precision and effectiveness of the Z-10's weapon systems. The deployment of Z-10 helicopters in high-altitude exercises demonstrates China's advanced military capabilities and its commitment to modernizing its forces. The Z-10, with its robust design and comprehensive armament, proves to be a formidable asset for the PLA, capable of performing in diverse and challenging environments. As China continues to develop and refine its military technology, the Z-10 attack helicopter remains a crucial element of its strategic arsenal, enhancing its combat readiness and operational reach. That's all for now, see you later.